okay so now we have this environmental uh, variables file and uh, we have created our smart contract and we have deployed it and we have pasted the address here so now what we want to do uh, let's create a backend server now uh, so for a backend server we are going to write it in express.js and let's create a file index.js and let's start writing the code so first of all we uh, require no require dot dot env dot config because we want to import the environmental variable in this file and then we need const express is equals to require express we need to install these modules later uh, const app is equals to express we have created app app dot use okay so now uh, we need to mention it because we will be having our static files in our folder in this so we need this uh, express dot static underscore so what what it's going to do let's say you have some images or you have some static javascript files or static css or html files and uh, you want your server to serve it in an application so you need this line i will explain it later and then you need app dot use express dot json so uh, to parse the json data and then we need const path is equals to require actually all these things you need to require when you are uh, developing a server and then we need to import ethers where we are going to uh, communicate with the blockchain network with the help of this library uh, okay and then we need to define port where or const or like anything we are going to run it on port 3000 and now we need to define our root so app dot get uh, when we are going to <coughs> uh, press localhost 3000 slash we are going to get request response it's going to be a function where we want to the response should be rest dot send file and path dot join directory name and our main file will be index dot html so this server is going to uh, uh, serve this file on this link and let's copy the same link and what we want to do is instead of uh, this we can also say that if we press and write index.html then it should also serve the same file so actually it's the same thing uh, it's going to serve the same page but uh, it's uh, more like um, um, like defining the way of how you serve your html files we can also serve let's say we can also serve our uh, let's say about file here about.html and we can just serve about.html but in our application we don't have any about file but you can serve the html file in the backend server as long as you define them so now uh, here we have exported all the modules and we have this app.get so now we want to uh, define the blockchain things for example the api url or the private key or we want to create signer to send transaction to the smart contract so let's let's do this so first of all we need to define const api url is equals to we it's coming from our uh, environment variable file so if we go here we can see its api url private key and contract address so we are going to do the same for private key 
and contract address const private key is equals to private key and contract address is contract okay so now we have uh, defined these so now now we want to define uh, the ABI so we can define the ABI of the contract so okay so in order to communicate with the smart contract you need the contract address and the ABI the contract address actually defines that at which place in the blockchain the contract resides and the ABI ABI is the definition uh, of all the functions so if you go here we can see ABI here so this is all the ABI where it's defining the functions the input so this is the name of the function at task it is non payable and it's a function and get all tasks so uh, like this is the ABI so you need two things to communicate with the blockchain network so let's write the ABI is equals to require um, okay so we need to provide this artifacts contracts so what we are going to do is we are going to write RT artifacts contracts task to do dot sol and in the task to do dot sol we have task to do dot json so we are so what we are going to do in this file we are we are taking the ABI so now we have defined our ABI we are just going to uh, create const provider is equals to new ethers dot provider dot we are going to use JSON RPC provider and we are going to use API URL we can use HTTP provider actually these are like different mechanisms to communicate with the blockchain network and we are going to use a different provider in our vanilla JavaScript file connected to the front end but right now we are going to use JSON RPC provider and this actually provider allows us to communicate with the blockchain network then we are going to create a signer new ethers dot wallet where we are going to give private key and provider so what we are going to do is we have this api url json rpc url and then we have this private key so what we want to do is uh, i told you in at the start that there are two ways to communicate with the blockchain one through the back end where we are defining the private key and one through the front end where we are using metamask so private key is injected in the metamask already so you are just going to send transaction however in order to send transaction from the back end you need to have this private key uh, to create a signer and this signer is actually going to send the transactions to the blockchain network but you have to be careful about your private key because uh, um, you need to actually store it in a safe place so nobody can steal it and once we have the signer and the provider ABI and contract address we are just going to create a contract instance so for this we are going to define the contract contract address and ABI and the signer who is going to interact with the uh, contract so now our contract instance is ready and so what we need now we need now is uh, uh, we we have two functions right if we go to uh, our smart contract we have add task and we have mark task as finished so these two tasks are actually writing something on the blockchain but all these get task we are just calling the blockchain for the data get task count get all tasks and get tasks so for these two functions we are going to write two post requests which are going to 
uh, write the data in the blockchain and for the other uh, functions like get task this is a get request which we are going to implement in the front end so we can create two post request where we can write add task and it will be async request response so first of all we need to define a task is request dot body dot task so if you remember in the video where i showed you the front end so when we are like writing add task and submitting so this task variable will actually take the text the description of the task like by x from that text box and it will send it to the add task route here in the post request i will tell you when i will be creating the front end so so when we have this task value here now we are going to write a function let's say async function store data in blockchain and then let's say we are going to create task so we are uh, sending the task which we have taken from the front end so the front end what we have written in the front end it comes to the back end in this uh, route and we are going to store the variable from the body from the html body and then we are going to pass this variable in this function which is going to let's say we want to write console.log adding the task in the blockchain network and what we want to do we want we want to create a transaction so let's say const transaction is equals to await so when we are using async function so we want to wait for this transaction to be mined in, uh, before um, uh, doing some other stuff so this await actually waits for the transaction or wait for this line of code to be executed before executing any other thing so we have this contract instance and what we can do is we can okay so the thing is this contract instance actually uh, goes points to this contract on the blockchain network and in this contract instance we have this task add task function and we are going to pass this task here and await tx dot wait so once we once this command is executed uh, we will wait for the transaction and then what we, we what we are going to do we are going to uh, let's uh, await uh, store data in blockchain and we are going to pass task here and then we are going to say response dot send we can say that the task has been registered in the smart contract okay so our this post request is completed so what it's going to do it's going to test take task from the front end and then it's going to add, call add task function on the smart contract and it is going to add the task and similarly we are going to create a post request for changing the status change status so what it is going to do it is we are going to provide the id so instead of task we are going to create id and the function will be similar we are just going to copy and paste id here id this id is actually uh, the array index where the task has been stored and the status of this task is either pending or finished so what we are going to do is uh, let's say uh, we can say uh, changing the task status and instead of add task what we are going to do is mark as finished so this is the function name if we go here mark as finished and it's going to take id and then it is going to change the status to finished so our back end is and the uh, the task and we can say that the task 
status has been changed in the smart contract so everything is same uh, we are just going to uh, you know uh, uh, send the transaction to the blockchain and then it is going to return so we have two functions add task and change status so let's start our server app dot listen port function console dot log app is oh sorry app is listening on port 3000 because our port is 3000 here so our backend server is almost completed so what we are going to do now we are going to write our front end so we are going to write our front end in the next video thank you so much